Next feature up is the display active slot or the slot to display, which is what's going to be renamed. Here you can access the individual by getting a pop-up image editor without leaving your view of your camera. So it's pretty self-explanatory. This is this is very useful for, for retouching small details or for actually working on making brushes. I'll have to cover that in a different video. So for the uh, reload, save, save plus one, and the save all, pack all, here's just a demonstration of first changing the first image. The, the root image is the, the other one. So now here I'm going to paint on the secondary image the one that's the transparency add some color since it's going in as a color mix nothing crazy just this is just for demonstration you can see up in the top right corner we got the image editor open so you can see the image by itself Here we got the Joker hair again. And then I say, okay, let's reload. Boom. Earlier when I was trying to record this, I had put something from an old script in there and it was only affecting the first index. So now it will actually grab whichever one is the active material slot. I mean, uh, yeah, material texture slot. Okay, when I hit save, it should have an error. I hit save by itself. Boom, because I hadn't saved it to disk yet. So we'll need to save it to disk. Okay, now we can go back to 3D view. We should be able to see it as a plus one. We do do more. Say the plus one. Let's change it to a file browser. Really, what I should have done is shown you a file browser to begin with. So you see there's the first one and then there's a 001 version. So the plus one iteration happened on that image. Now it didn't do it for both images, it just did the one that was active. So if you've got two of them, you'd have to do the same thing. But maybe I should change that pretty soon to changing iterations from both. Because I could, you could have four or five different layers added. There we go. So you can see the 001 and the one. A crop to camera is pretty simple. What we're going to do is turn on the crop to reg, uh, render region. And then we'll be able to adjust where we're going to crop to. I'm going to go ahead and crop the eye. This was borrowed from someone else's script. Lapinage scripts, which I think is Snow Bunny in French. So if you've got both of them set, when you press render, it'll get you just the image by itself. This is very useful for making brushes or reviewing what content you're working on.
that's pretty much it. So in the 3D image editor tab, we have subject to canvas. This is where we have a model that already has UVs. We set it up for texture paint and we decide we want to also do 2D image editing as well as 3D image editing. So we press very simple, select the subject to canvas and then hit, hit show canvas twice. And then you'll also be able to toggle the UVs on and off. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, I can paint on portion. You see the UVs through the camera. These UVs are just generated when you've gone subject to canvas and has put it to a temp folder and then brought back into the camera. Here, I'm just messing around with some colors. I'm not really doing anything serious here. Just to show you that we're working on the flat 2D image plane in the camera. Now, one thing I'd like to point out here in the 2D image editor, we're able to rotate the canvas to get to get our com ourselves comfortable with the lines. The the uh, working through the camera, the UVs are only going to project to the camera. The camera and the canvas are not going to turn together. So this is why later we have the UV to mask. Also, we don't have the ability to limit the paint based on the geometry of the uvs that's also the reason why we went further this was itself uh, i thought was amazing to be able to go back and forth uh, kind of got the idea from uh, an add-on that uh, indy had made it was amazing it could be painter i don't think it's in production anymore but that was one of the best painting add-ons i'd ever seen so uh Andy, if you're out there, just let you know. I really do appreciate everything you did. And hopefully, someday I'll be as good as you at making add ons. Okay, so here we're just painting again. Not much, not much change there. But I just want to show you that after putting this down, then you can see onto the 2D canvas. The nice thing though is the 2D canvas there in the 3D view, we can add layers because it corresponds to the material on the, the monkey. So I could add two, three, four, however many more images to affect the material and they would be also visible there. Sometimes it's not enough to just be able to have the flat canvas matched up to the UV in the camera. So now when we've pushed this button UV I mean, we've had our subject selected when you press UV to mask it gives us this flat uh, um, mesh that's generated from the UV map in the UV editor and we have to make sure that we reproject that we have to hit copy canvas or it should should be automatically but hit reproject twice and then you'll get the projection of the canvas onto the mesh and then here we can actually use Face select masking to select one face, press L for linked, and then we can drop in what we want into that area. This is something that cannot be done currently in the U the regular image editor. You can't paint by limitation of the UVs, but this is a workaround. And I know that eventually someday maybe we'll get the support there in the U image editor to use UVs as a mask of some kind. Are using the symmetry guides or a lot a lot of times even the subject to canva canvas we're going to need to make sure we turn off lock up ob, uh, object selection so here we've replaced the empty guide into like center of the eyes and we've set the to draw i mean to 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 set the guide and once we turn on the the x symmetry now it's based on the position of the that empty we can turn off the visibility of the empty, but and then get her, get to work. So I'm just working on the the bottom, the underpainting on the canvas to work in some values, trying to like make a little, 
I guess a TR kind of thing going on. You know, the significance of that is that I'm working with symmetry offset from the center of the, the object plane. So as far as I understand, that's not something you can do in the, the regular image editor, not yet. But it comes in handy for things like this, where you want to do something and you don't want to sit there and just draw half and try to clone and flip or anything like that. And I'm just riffing here. I'm just trying to make little shapes that might be interesting. Incidentally, when, if you've already got a symmetry guide existing, it should, by pressing it again, it should uh, reassign that one. If you then are done with it, you can press recenter guide with the, the guide snapping to the center. And then that should put your symmetry origin back to the center of your object. You just want to remember to turn off your symmetry X and Y. We're done with making making some sort of action that needs symmetry. 